Now, I want to bring you up to date now on this story that Ali was just referring to. It's a story that's coming out of uh, New Jersey. Uh, have you heard of it? it? It shows how thoughtless and how hurtful people can be. And it shows how much emotional damage can be done to a single human being over the Internet. Whether it's bullying or not, I'll let other people argue that. I want you to look at this young man. He's 18 years old, a freshman at Rutgers University. His name is Tyler Clementi. Well, he went out and he killed himself. Did you hear? He jumped off the George Washington Bridge right into the Hudson River. Prosecutors say he did it after two of his classmates allegedly spied on him while he was having a sexual encounter. And then they showed it to the whole world. They put it on the Internet, live, in fact. They streamed it so everybody could see it. This is one of the biggest stories that's trending out there because everybody seems to be talking about it today on the Internet. And that's why we decided to put it at the top of the 3 o'clock show and let you know what we've learned thus far. Brooke Baldwin's joining us now. This is by far probably the most important trending story of the day, right? Oh, absolutely. Everyone is blogging about it, talking about it, and people are just perplexed as to how two young people, why they well, would have wanted to do this. It, it really comes down to a matter of class, a matter of just not being mean or mean-spirited. The idea is they, they literally do this guy into this situation. He was under the impression that he was in his dorm room and that he, that he had privacy. Absolutely. Doors closed, wouldn't you? Yeah. Can you assume that? Uh, l let me back up. There are three students involved. You mentioned uh, the young man who jumped off the GW Bridge. That's Tyler Clementi. Also involved here, his roommate, Darun Ravi and Molly Way. These two are said to have taken this webcam. This happened last week. Snuck into Tyler Clementi's room, hid this thing, and watched him not once, if you look at the police co complaint, but twice in, in this intimate encounter with another guy. And as Rick mentioned, what they did is they streamed this live for any and all to see on the internet. Not only that, but Ravi here allegedly tweeted about it. He has since, of course, yanked his Twitter page, but we have a screen grab from an account we believe to be his. I want you to take a look at two tweets that we found. First one is this. It says, roommate asked for the room till midnight. I went into Molly's room and turned on my webcam. I saw him, him being Tyler, making out with the dude, yay. One more tweet we found, this was the tip top of the list before he pulled his Twitter mm. account. He says, anyone with iChat, I dare you to video chat me between the hours mm. of 9.30 and 12. Yes, it's happening again. Uh, Ravi mm. and Wei have been charged with multiple so counts of invasion of the privacy. He's announcing to the whole world hey, on the check internet. check it out. Check it out, I'm about to show you video. Check out what I'm doing. Secretly recorded video of my roommate with in an intimate situation with another man. And by the way, it doesn't matter whether he's with another man or another woman. It's Irrelevant. Intimate. Exactly. Irrelevant. I mean, th th you just don't do people that way. Uh, did you hear from anybody on campus today? Because what I'd like to know is these two characters who did this, What's their MO? What, what do we right. know about them? Uh, we're getting bits and pieces from different folks at Rutgers University, but here's the young woman who I found most pertinent, at least that we found so far. She, she actually lived next door to Darun and to Tyler in this dorm room at Rutgers. She's astonished. Here she is. He was married to himself. They never fought. I never see them fighting. I didn't even see them ever talking. So He was Darun's roommate. roommate. So, um... There, there was really nothing about it, so I, this is all like surprising to all of us that this has happened. Hmm. Uh, and briefly, you hear reporters, once the interview keeps going, they asked about the guy that Tyler apparently was with, and they're saying, you know, he was older, not, not a student. All right, so it, 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 this is the, the part that really is, makes you almost angry. Yeah. When he finds out that people had seen this video, perhaps all over the world, right. maybe his own parents. Absolutely. Whether he had told everything to his parents about who he was, it's his business. We right? don't know. We, we don't know, know. what well, his that, parents knew precisely. But, but now they knew. I mean, right. or, or they potentially knew. I mean, this had to, this is where he makes the decision to go over to the GW, the George Washington Bridge, huge, massive bridge that connects New Jersey and New York, mm -hmm. and police say he jumped there. Right. So we know this happened, this live web streaming. If you look at the police uh, records last Saturday and two Tuesday, so the next day, Wednesday, uh, this is according to this family spokesperson, Tyler Clemente's fam family spokesperson ye said yes, he committed suicide, he jumped off the GW Bridge into the Hudson River last Wednesday, um, he, police have found his car at the top of the bridge, his wallet, uh, his phone, he didn't leave a, le a letter, but, but listen to this, uh, he is believed to have updated his status on Facebook, reportedly before he took that leap, take a look, this is the uh, status update we, we believe we found of his, he 
says, going to jump off the GW bridge or jumping off the GW bridge, sorry. Uh, CNN doing our due diligence, we reached out to the Clementi family. You know, they're not ready to talk to media for obvious reasons, but a spokesperson is, and they say Tyler was a fine young man and a distinguished musician. The family is heartbroken beyond words. They respectfully request that they be given the time to grieve their great loss and that their privacy at this painful time be respected by all. We are getting a little bit more from Rutgers today. You know, it's their policy, not really to comment on some sort of specific ongoing investigation. But here's what we got a little bit more uh, just in today, this right. afternoon. They say, if the charges are true, these actions gravely violate the university's standards of decency and humanity. They go on to say, we extend our heartfelt sympathies to the family during this most difficult time. Our university community feels the pain of his loss, and I know there is anger and outrage about these events. Well, uh, one final note, New York PD did find a body yesterday. But let's talk about it hasn't this. been identified. This is interesting, because you know what? Yes, there's no question that everyone listening to the sound of my voice and your voice right now knows that they violated decency mm -hmm. and humanity, as the school has said. We also know that what they did may be a misdemeanor or some kind of violation. You shouldn't record Couple years people. Five that, years. Right, may, maybe, at right. most. Right. You shouldn't record people without their permission. But essentially, there's nothing in the law... In other words, there's no way to tie him to the ultimate result, which was a suicide. That will be the tricky part. So from part. a legal standpoint... Correct. It's tricky. Correct. You have this inv invasion of privacy on one hand, and then you have Tyler Clemente choosing to jump off the GW Bridge, and it will be up to lawyers uh, on his well, side perhaps to connect well, to maybe, it, and that will be difficult. Maybe, I don't know, maybe there's some things that just have more to do with class or lack thereof mm -hmm. than laws. You can't make a law that, that because someone's stupid or classless or mean-spirited. It, it's just who they are. But everything's changing. If you're going to start making a law evolves. that says, we're going to make a law that says anyone who's mean to another person no, has not. to do time in jail. Well, isn't that what this is? At the end of the day, it appears to be, and with the evolution of the internet and all these, you know, things that the kids are doing these days, with with you know, their, they might be able to increase the law. Perhaps to we don't know. Final note: perpetuating Barb meanness on the internet, in other words, might be something that down the line, as we live in this internet age, Twitter, all social media, everything you and I do, who knows? It might be something, but again, it, it's a slippery slope. It's a slippery slope. Uh, all we know, invasion of privacy, and that's kind of where it that's is for now. Yeah, that's for all now. they're hitting them with. But if you look back at some of these cases, so Barb and I took a look, Barb, my producer, we took a look back at some of these trends of cyberbullying and when those young uh, folks wait, 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 bullying? How is this bullying? I don't, you know, this whole term. I know you have an issue with bullying. It's a psychobabble media term that we've made up. Let me put it to, to you, a person, let me put it to you this way. A person is mean to another person. How's this bullying? Let me put it to you this way. You have a young teen who um, has nefarious, cruel comments to them yeah. via the internet. Uh, internet, i.e., you know, yeah. Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, text messages. So that's what I'm talking about uh -huh. specifically, and that's when people say cyberbullying. There are a couple of different cases recently that we've found that just perhaps further illustrate that this is happening and do we have time for a tweet real quickly Robert if we could duck under the camera this is a this is a group out of Florida they sort of help teens dealing with uh, depression commit thoughts of suicide we just learned of the suicide of Tyler Clementi of Rutgers University our thoughts and prayers are for his friends and family interesting conversation yeah. I bet, you know, it's the kind, I know well, how you, know, you feel about that it's well you know we in the media have a way of coming up with these fancy little words to explain things it tends to simplify them more than it does elucinate so them. you're saying just go with being mean. It's a horrible human being who did a horrible thing to another fellow whatever human being. Whatever you want being. to call it. Oh, yeah. Whatever All label of a sudden you want to call it. Oh, another case of bullying. No. <laughs> it's horrific, bottom line. No question about it. All right. We'll talk some more about okay. this.